Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of 360 VR videos in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects. So normally we will be creating a composition by clicking on this new composition, right? So in order to create this 360 VR videos, we need to go to this composition. Here we will see this VR option, right? Come to this VR options and create VR environment. Just click on this create VR environment. So we will get this dialog box, right? So let it be create new VR master. So here we can change the size. So I will leave this to default. If you want to go for further resolution, you can select and frame rate. I will change this to 24 and in camera settings enable this use 3d null camera control and in advanced settings enable this i am using 3d plugins and after that just click on this vr master create vr master we got the composition created so now we can close this one so here let's create a solid layer for element 3d so go to this layer options new create a solid so i will rename this as element make it of comp size and hit ok now come to this effects and presets panel if you're not finding this panel here go to this window and enable this effects and presets and look for element so as you know element 3d is a third party plugin so select this element and drop it onto this element layer which we have created now so now click on the scene setup here we got a new window open to work in element 3d so here we will import all the 3d models or 3d animated files here and one thing element 3d supports only dot obj format or obj sequence so make sure whichever models you are using it should be in obj format so here i will be using an animated character and i have converted that animation file into obj sequence so as to use in element 3d by using blender so if you want to know how to download the characters along with the animation and convert that file into obj sequence just click on that i card above for a tutorial or else you can find a link in the description so let's import that character with the animation so normally if you want to import 3d objects we'll click on this import button but if you want to import 3d sequence file we need to go to this file option import select this 3d sequence so here we got that sequence right obj sequence now select this first file and click on this open button and alignment let it be from bottom so that we will get the pivot point at the bottom of the character and after that hit ok now you can see we got our character here so if i come to this option normalize size where is this so if i enable this one you can see we got the character and it got the animations also so let me show you so if i change this frame offset value you can see there is animation here nice so here we got the character along with the animation so now let's change the environment here i will be using hdr image which i have downloaded from online source like polyheaven so let's load that one first so click on this environment so here i will be selecting this sunset hdr so select that one and open and we will get the hdr visible here you can say we got that and let's reduce the gamma a bit so i think yeah this much would be fine and hit ok so if i enable this environment option you can say we got the environment surrounded around the character so nice so let's add some base for this character so that our character stands on that base so go to this create option and let's select this cylinder so increase the scaling press r and reduce the scaling in z axis like this so if you want to change the view so let's move to front view press w for move options and let's place this just above to here nice so let's change this perspective so let's add some wood texture onto this base so select this material come to this diffuse options click on this none set and from here we can load any wood texture you want so here i got that wood texture right just select it and open now you can see we got the texture appearing there so if you want to reduce the brightness we can do that so i'll reduce the brightness a bit so this is fine and let's create a ground plane so go to this create select the plane here and increase the scaling like thousand and place it just below to this here so i think we need to increase the scaling a bit so let it be ten thousand okay so this is fine so for this also i will apply some ground material so come to this option select the material come to this diffuse and here i will select a grass ground so select it and open so we got that 
so we need to increase the uv repeat so i will increase this to 25 and 25 so i think this is fine and let's reduce the brightness a bit so here we don't want any glossiness so scroll down and reduce the glossiness here specular multiplier also and environment so let it be here like this so we got this ground and this base for the character so let's add a uv sphere so go to this create select a uv sphere here so for this uv sphere i will apply the same hdra which i am using here so select the material here now so come to this diffuse options and select the same hdr which you are using here so let me load that hdra so here is that hdra open reduce the gamma a bit so let's increase the scaling of the sphere so select the sphere model and here i will increase the scaling to 10000 okay so now we got that scene inside this sphere so we want that HDRI to be visible inside right so select the material come to this advanced settings scroll down and enable this draw back faces now we will get that HDR visible from inside so now I want to add skull models around this character so first let's import that one so click on this import so here I got that skull model this is also downloaded from online source so select the model and open so alignment let it be from model center and hit ok so let's enable this normalize size option now we got that skull model and let's rotate it press e on the keyboard and rotate it here so here i want this skull model to be around our character so instead of duplicating this skull model multiple times and placing them manually we can do that simply first let's create a new folder so click on this new folder icon and bring it from the group and change it to group 2 so let's change this to skull model i'll change this to skull and now select this skull model and place it in this group 2 folder so in group 1 we got this animated character with this plain ground plane in group 2 we got this skull model so let's assign this skull model to aux animation channel 1 and if you want to add multiple objects you can add in this group too so here i'll duplicating the same model so right click duplicate model and this duplicated one i will assign to aux channel 2 and again right click duplicate once more now select this duplicated model right click aux animation channel 3 so it is set to aux channel 1 2 3 and these skull models are in group 2 okay so now hit ok button so here you can see we got all the assets which we have added in element 3d so now let's see how we can make this skull placed around the character so this skull model is in group 2 right so come to this group 2 option expand this one now come to this particle replicator expand it in particle replicator shape change it from point to ring and let's increase the particle count to like i think 8 would be fine so here you can see we got the duplicated copies of skull so let's increase the spacing here so simply increase the value of this shape scale so if i keep on increasing you can see those are moving away nice so now let's add this in multiple rows so we have assigned this skull model in three aux channels right so let's move on to that so here you can see we got this aux channels right so we got this skull models in channel 1 channel 2 and channel 3 so first come to this channel 1 so let's change the position in y axis and see so here you can see we are changing that here and let's come to this second channel position y and change the value here okay so now we got the three rows of skull here so if you want to view this in 3d space select this camera tool or else you can press c on the keyboard to select this unified camera tool and now if i rotate this you can see we got our scene here so let's bring this distance a bit so let it be here like this and now let's see how we can revolve these curls so all these are in aux channels right so come to this channel one come to this rotation option be on the first frame add a keyframe for this rotation z so this is z axis here you can see z axis add a keyframe for this rotation z move to the last frame and change the value here so i will change it to five so let's change the resolution to quarter and now if i play this you can see we are getting the revolve animation of this skull so in the same way let's do this to channel 2 and channel 3 so come to this channel 2 rotation 
be on the first frame add a keyframe for this channel rotation to z axis and move to the last frame so here i will increase the number to like 8 now come to this channel 3 rotation move on the first frame be on the first frame add a keyframe for this rotation z axis move to the last frame and for this i will make the number as 10 so now if i play this you can see we got that animation so now if we want to make these skull models rotate around the character we can do that also so for that we need to come to this group 2 options right come to this group 2 in that we will have this rotation option so expand this rotation so this affects all the three rows of skulls here so beyond this first frame add a keyframe for this y rotation let's check this so if i move this okay it is moving so add a keyframe for this y rotation move to the last frame and let's change this rotation value to like i think six is fine now if i play this we'll get that revolving animation along with this rotation animation also nice fine so if you want to add some external elements or extra elements here you can do that simply go to the scene setup and here you can add the extra objects for example if you want to add text we can do that so in order to add text let's come out of this element 3d click on this text icon here and add your text so here i will add like happy halloween i will use this font here okay so after that we can hide out this text layer don't delete it just hide it out so now come to this element layer scroll down and come to this custom text layers so here we got that custom layers right expand this one so in custom text and mask expand it and in path layer one we need to select the text which we have created so this is the text i have created so select the text layer and after that move on to this scene setup click on this scene setup button and here i don't want any animation added onto that so here i will select this group one so the text will be created in group one folder so after that just click on this extrude so now you can see we got the text appearing here so press w for move options now you can see we got that so let's increase the scaling so select that model where is the scaling options so here we can increase the scaling here so here i will place this like this so here you can see we got our text so i will add the same material wood material onto this so here if i want to wrap this text just around to this base we can do that for that we need to move this from group one to other group so i will create another group so just click on this group icon here and let's bring it here and i will rename this as text and i will change this to group 3 and now select this text model from this group 1 and move it onto this text so here it is in group 3 and let's assign this to aux animation channel 1 nice so now you can see we got the text added in our scene so this text is in group 3 right so let's close this group 2 come to this group 3 expand it so if you want to reduce the scaling come to this particle look and reduce the scaling here you can see particle size just reduce it so i'll change this to 7 and let's bring it forward so we need to come to this aux channel right so come to this aux channel this is set to channel 1 so come to this channel 1 and position z just move the value here so that it will be in front of this i want this text to be bend around this character so for that we need to come to this deform options in group 3 so expand it so enable if it is disabled so enable this deform option come to this bend options here and let's give an angle like here. so let's change this to 90 and let's change this to 90 now we will get the text bend over our character or else if i want to see that so if i move it here you can see we got the text bend over so if you want to further bend that we need to increase this bend angle so let's change this to 180 and bend direction also i think let it be 90 only so here you can see we got our text right so in this way we can add text so here i will not be using any text so i will disable this group 3 so just click on this disable option it will be disappeared fine and if you want to add any extra objects you can add into the scene and finally after that let's enable the ambient occlusion so come to this render settings ambient occlusion and enable this ambient occlusion and intensity i will change this to 5 
if I want to have a walkthrough kind of animation or zoom in kind of animation, we need to create a world null. So for that, let's come to this world transform. You can see this world transform, right? Expand it and click on this create world transform null. Just create it. We'll get a null created. So from this null, we can control enter scene. So if I press R on the keyboard and if I rotate this, you can see the complete scene will be rotating. So this will be useful if you want to add walkthrough animation or rotation animation anything. So here I will add some zoom animation. So be on the first frame. Press P on the keyboard for position. So Z value. First I will make it here. Bring it here. Add a keyframe for this position. Now move to the last frame. And I will change this value to 0. So now in order to render this scene out. First we need to go to this composition settings once again. So come to this composition once again, come to this VR and again select this create VR environment. So now by default this will be selected create VR from current composition. So since I have got only single composition, I have selected this composition. But if you got multiple compositions, make sure you select the final render composition. So here I will be selecting this and after that enable this use 3D null camera control and enable this advanced settings this both and after that click on this generate VR output so now you can see we got our scene stretched out here like this so this is good so in order to render this out we need to use either media encoder or Adobe Premiere Pro so here I will be using media encoder so come to this composition and click on this add to media encoder queue so now we got this link created in this media encoder. So after that click on this preset. So by default I have selected this YouTube preset. So let me show you. So click on that. So format I will select this H.264 only. Preset I will leave this to YouTube full HD. And output folder I will select a location where I can save this file. So here I have selected a folder where I can save the file. And after that come to this video settings here. Resolution let it be full HD and enable this render at maximum depth and enable this use maximum render quality while rendering and make sure we need to enable this vr video so if we won't enable this one this will not work so make sure you are enabling this video is vr option so here we got this horizontal field of view value 360 that means we can view complete 360 degree rotation horizontally and vertical field of view is 180 so we can view 180 degrees vertically so up and down we can view 180 so once this is done we can click on this ok button and we can render this out so make sure the render is set to CUDA in order to get this properly rendered out so after that we can upload this onto this YouTube or any other platforms and we can view that in VR so in this way we can create this kind of 360 VR videos easily in Adobe After Effects using Element plugin. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye.